Hey everyone, this is Ebony and welcome to Fashion. Now I hate to say it, but this is my second time recording this video and I'm a bit annoyed. I tried to record a video for you guys with a mic and some of the clips came out really well and then some of them you couldn't hear at all. So I'm back to using no mic for right now just until I can find something that isn't so reactionary when I try to record videos. But anyway, before we get into the video, if you want to see more of me, click that subscribe button. And if you want to be the first one to know when I drop videos, click the bell notification to get first dibs. Alright, let's get into the video. So today I'm decluttering my makeup collection. I am notorious for keeping and using expired makeup. But unfortunately, I have acne prone, problematic, oily skin as you can see. So I can't really risk the chances of breaking out and having infections using expired makeup just because I'm too cheap to buy new makeup and because I'm also too cheap to get rid of makeup that I have not fully finished. Now to be honest, makeup is expensive. Once you get it, you're like, okay, great, I got this item, but you have to use it within a certain amount of time before it expires and you have to keep stocking up on it, which means you have to keep dropping money. I'm trying to be smarter about how much money I spend on makeup and what brands that I'm giving my money to. Let's get into what I have and let's talk about it. The first things on the chopping block is my Lip Sense products. I have the Oops Remover, which removes the lipstick. I have two colors, which is the Sheer Berry and the Blue Red. And I have two of the moisturizing lip glosses. Now, there's a few reasons why I'm getting rid of this. The first reason is they're three years old. So for liquid lipsticks and lip glosses, they only last about a year. So I'm already two years past the deadline. And there are many brands nowadays that are giving us liquid lipsticks that stay put, that are smudge proof. A good example is a beauty bakery, or if you want something drugstore, then you can try the Maybelline Stay Liquid Lipsticks, which I'll show later. But yes, they don't come with a learning curve like Cinegents, as well as you don't need the other multiple products to keep it staying smudge free. So unfortunately, goodbye to Cinegents. Next, what we just spoke about, I have two Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. These are beautiful colors. I have them in Escapist and Believer. These are still in stores. You can get them from any drugstore. These are two years old. As I said before, liquid lipsticks only last a year. So this is a year past that deadline and they have to go. I found my other Synergist lipstick, which was in Mold Wine. Same concept as the other Synergents has to go. Next I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I got these at least four years ago at Macy's and I got these colors because they were colors I did not own. There's probably a reason why I didn't own these colors because I don't wear them very much but I thought they looked beautiful in the store and I think they do still sell them. They're around $20 I believe. So you can cop them if you want them. Anastasia is now a household name. So you can definitely get this. It's definitely good quality, but it's about three or four years old, so I gotta get rid of it. The next two lip products that I have to let go is the Fenty Beauty Lip Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored, as well as the Galaxy Lip Gloss in Gal on the Moon. I really love this gloss, like really love it. But unfortunately, this is about three years old, question mark. And I think the Stunna Lip Paint is two years old. And both glosses and liquid lipsticks only last a year. So I do have to get rid of these, unfortunately. But I do have a new red liquid lipstick that I love from the lip bar. So I won't be giving up red lipstick yet, but unfortunately, I have to give up this one. I believe both of these are still sold on the Fenty website. I know that the Stunna Lip Paint is as well as in Sephora and I think that's still going for $20. And the Galaxy Lip Gloss I think is still being sold at Fenty website I believe around that same price range. Next thing I'm giving up is the three 
lip glosses from Sephora. I have it in Sand, Ruby, and in Fun Flamingo. I love these glosses. I basically use this up, to be honest. And the red one is almost gone, and the pink one is almost gone. So I almost got my full money's worth. But I got this a little over a year ago, and once again, glosses only last a year. So I have to let them go, but they are still being sold at every Sephora and online. And I actually got all three of these on sale for around three or four dollars. But I think they normally go for twelve. Anyway, so if you like them, you can go cop them. Really hate to see these go, but I have to let go of my NARS Power. What is it called? Power Lip Pigments. I have American Woman, which is the pink. I have Rock With You, which is like the deep burgundy color, and I have Done It Again, which is the deep brown color. Unfortunately, I got all three of these about two-ish years ago. Since they're liquid lipsticks, they have reached that expiration date a year in, which means I'm over a year past that date, and I have to be careful nowadays with what I'm putting on my face. So unfortunately, I have to let these go, but I think they are still being sold at Sephora as well as NARS, and I believe they were going for a little bit over $20 maybe. Next thing I hate to see go is the Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks. They are definitely still being sold at Fenty and Sephora, but these are over two years old, I think closer to three, and the life shelf on lipsticks is two years. So. I'm a year over the expiration date again. I got the Candy Venom, which was like this super hot pink. I also have this burnt orange one that I really loved, which is Freckle Fiesta. And then the color that I literally came here for, which is Clapback, the navy color. So unfortunately, I have to give these up. This is a year over the deadline, but I can still get these if I want them, and you can too. I wanna say these are around $18. The next two items I have are drugstore lipsticks. I have the Hard Candy Lipstick in Thunder, which is a nice blue-purple color. I literally got this at the store, like at Walmart, just because of the color. But I didn't end up wearing it like that, so unfortunately, I have to let it go. But I can always get it again. I think it was like anywhere between seven or eight dollars for this lipstick, so very affordable. And the next thing I have is the Maybelline Raisin Berry lipstick. Now, I got this several years ago, I got this about three years ago, I got this about six years ago. And I think they are still selling this lipstick. Yeah, I have to get rid of both these. They're way past its prime. As I said earlier, lipsticks only last two years. This is a year late, and this is four years late. Last lipstick that I'm showing today is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Blackmail. Beautiful, deep blackberry color. I wore this a bit, but not enough to finish it. <laughs> This is the color, I swatched that earlier. So pretty, they are still selling it, I believe, in Sephora. Uh, I wanna say this lipstick was like 19-ish dollars, but it's really great quality. Unfortunately, I got this about three or four years ago, so it definitely has to go. Next, I have a couple of liners that I'm going to show, and the first one is one that I definitely don't wanna give up. But I have two, which is the NARS lip liner in Cruella. Nice red pencil. I got this about three or four years ago. Can't remember how much it was. No, I think I got this for like a birthday gift. So it was free for me, but I don't know how much it is normally. I know that it's still being sold at NARS online and Sephora and Ulta. Next, I got this pack of 12 lip liners from Amazon from the brand J-Cat, maybe, is what it's trying to say. I literally only used one <laughs> out of 12. I have 11 right here. I got this about four-ish years ago. Lip liners tend to only last just as long as eyeliners, which is about two years. 
So it's several years past its prime. It was a good deal though, but I definitely didn't get my money's worth because I didn't use most of these. Next, I have two Rimmel London lip pencils, which I definitely got about four or five years ago. One in this like burgundy color and one in this like tan, well, yeah, like brownish tan color. Can't remember how much they cost. Don't know if they're still being sold because I got it that long ago. Last lip liner that I hate to see go is the Ellery pencil from ColourPop. She came back out with another installment of these a few years ago. And I got it at Jackie Anna's recommendation and I loved it. Unfortunately, like I said, it came back out a few years ago. So it's a couple of years past its prime, probably at least one year past its prime. ColourPop has some really nice liners. I think I only got this for $5. So if you want to try some of their liners, go check out their website. They have a nice variety. Next, I have two highlighters that I have to let go that I hate to see go. I have the ColourPop Super Shop Cheek in Glow Up. I don't know if they sell this color anymore, but I know they sell these Super Shock formulas, so you can cop that whenever you're ready. I got this like for $6, so it's probably gonna be around there. It's about three or four years old, so this is kind of like a cream-ish formula. I don't know if it's considered powder or cream, but it feels like cream. Um, but with that being the case, it only lasts for a year, like safely. And the next one that I really hate to see go is the Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Highlighter. I got this about three years ago. And pressed powder anything only lasts about two years. It's broken. But I got this with a set with the mini lip gloss. I think them together is $20 and this is definitely still being sold on the website and probably still at Sephora as well. Next I have two Ulta Stick products. One is a sculpting stick, it does not sculpt me, and the other is a lip and cheek which I've used a lot on my channel. The sculpting stick is actually a year and a half old I believe, at least that much, and the cheek and lipstick is definitely at least two, two and a half years old, which is um, a year and some change past its prime. I do still have product, uh, a fair amount of, oh, not that much of it. I think they were $8 each, and they are definitely still being sold at Ulta if you wanna copy some. Next, I have some powders I have to let go. Some I don't care about, some I definitely care about. The first one is the Makeup Forever Finishing Powder. Didn't care about this, but it's definitely past two years old. Next, I have the Kat Von D Translucent Powder. Both of these last two powders were like in like translucent, and so they're a bit white on me as well as their Passes Prime. This one is not, but I don't need it. I've used it a couple of times, so I can't give it away to the trash. The next one I have is the Cover Fix Finishing Powder or Illuminating Setting Powder in medium. I didn't pay attention to the illuminating word, so this has some shimmer in it, which I didn't like. It highlighted a lot of texture that I didn't want highlighted in my face. I got this from Sephora. Can't remember how much it was. I think it was like $10. But this is over two years old. Loose powder can stay up to date between two to three years old. So it's pretty much at, you know, the end of its road. I'm gonna give that up. And then the last thing, the last powder I have to give up is my Laura Mercier powder. I got this a little over two years ago. So, ah, I wanna say it was like two or three years. It's probably at its end. I've used most of the powder, most of it is gone, but there's still some left. And this was $38. So it's definitely hard for me to give up because that's nearly $40 that I gave up and I didn't even finish it. But they give you a lot of product, which is good for your money. And um, you can still buy it in stores. I hate to see this go, but it has to go. It's such a great, great, loose powder like it's wonderful but $40. Next we have some more complexion products. 
We're starting with some concealers, the first being the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which is in Dark 46. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I always use this concealer to highlight, always. And I have been doing so for the last two and a half to three years. Unfortunately, this is a liquid formula, which means that it only lasts one year. Like, this should have been done in one year. I've definitely had it for three. I definitely got my money's worth. It's pretty much gone, but it has to go. Next, I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Mahogany. I got this about five or six years ago when I was trying to learn how to contour. I'm still terrible at it. But this was going for like six or seven dollars, anywhere between six to eight dollars, depending on where you go. ColourPop one, I think it is anywhere between six or seven dollars that I just showed you. This is very old, this has to go. And then, unfortunately, my favorite NARS Soft Matte Concealer has to go. This concealer, I think, was like a little over 20, 20 something dollars, I think. And it is definitely over two or three years old. I want to say closer to three. And it is a cream formula, which means that it really only lasts for about a year safely. So I definitely have to go and throw it away. But I use most of the product, I think. I think I use most of it. So maybe I got my money's worth. I don't know. I almost forgot I have this Ela mask stick that's supposed to be a contour stick that I got from ASOS. It's pretty much gone. It was supposed to be a gel contour stick. Unfortunately, as dark as it looks in the tube, it's nowhere near that dark, so it does not contour my face at all. But it was $38, so you best believe I was going to try to use this up as much as possible, regardless if it didn't contour or not. Maybe if you're lighter than me, this will contour you. It feels good, but it, it didn't sculpt anything on my face, so. It has to go. It's a, I got this like four or five years ago, so it definitely has to go. Last few things. I have the Black Radiance BB Creams, one in chocolate, one in honey amber. I got this from Target, and they're anywhere between six or seven dollars each. And I actually really love this BB Cream. It has really great coverage. It doesn't feel like you have a lot on your face. You don't even really need to set it. It doesn't like fall apart on your face. Um, I got these two colors because this one was too dark, but this one was too light, so I had to mix them. Not a big deal, but I think this is a great BB cream if you want something that's really light that gives you a little bit of coverage, makes you look like you actually tried. These are about a year and a half to two years old. I want to say a year and a half. Yeah, it's coming up on two years though. So. I have to let these go. They're liquid. They only last a year. I'll give me some more from Target in the near future, but yeah. Next, I have the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation from NYX in the color Deep Rich. If you've been on my channel, you've seen me wear this. This is coming up on two years as well. I got this in August, I believe, of 2018. It was definitely my summer shade at that time. And it's a very matte foundation. It's really great for the summer, especially if you have oily skin because it locks in place. But um, I don't really need that right now. And I feel like my skin is changing uh, as I get older. I'm not producing nearly as much oil as I was just a few years ago. But if you still are dealing with very oily skin, this is a great one to use for the summer specifically. Yeah, I think this is like $15. You can still get it at the next store. Um, cop it if you want it. Next, I have some eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes that need to go. I have the crisscross single shadow from ColourPop. Got this at least four years ago. Eyeshadows only last a year. So, this is a wrap. I don't know if they still sell this shade or not, but I know they still sell single shadows. I think I got this like maybe. $4. Next, I have my ColourPop eyeshadow palette, the I Love Sarah 2 Saucy palette. Definitely don't sell this anymore. I got this maybe three or so years ago. 
super cute palette the formula was great it showed up really great on my skin but just wasn't using it enough so it is what it is I think I got this for $12, so not terribly expensive. Last palette I have is the Ulta Holographic Palette. Don't even know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. I got this for free in a promotional while I was buying other things. And you've seen me use this palette before if you've been on my channel. I actually am only going to miss this shade. I never even touched this shade. But I'm going to miss this shade. The rest of them are like the. Uh, the face shades were okay. I mean, I didn't use this one at all, but these two were okay. The back has like some cream lip stuff, some corrector concealers that I can't use, and some cream highlights that I didn't use. I would say I still got my money's worth because it was free. Sorry to this palette, but it has to go. I think I got it two-ish, three years ago, so this whole palette has to go. Next thing that has to go is the Milk Kush Mascara. And I know you're thinking, Ebony, you recently got that. Why does this have to go? Well, mascara only lasts for three months. That's how long you should keep them. After that, they are expired. So, since I got this in January around my birthday, and we're coming up on April 20-somethings, it has approximately been three months since I got it. I have to give this up. I have some new stuff coming, so don't worry. But I have to give up this mascara. It's actually a really great mascara. It did its job. I would give it a close second in my list to the Ico Rockout Lash Out. Um, nothing has beat that since, in my opinion. It did what it needed to do. I got it for free for my birthday, so I definitely got my money's worth. Spent no money on it. You can definitely get this at Sephora or Milk Online. Last but not least, I had to give up the rest of my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Now, not a lot of people are talking about, okay, what do we do with our setting sprays and blah, blah, blah. If it is liquid form, usually you wanna just get rid of it after a year because those liquids are marinating. And if you keep using it on your skin, you know, those liquids are actually getting harsher. So you just want to be careful and safe. Now if you're someone who uses makeup very often, this is probably not an issue for you. But for someone like me who does not use makeup very often, that keeps makeup for a long time, I have to remind myself and keep myself accountable that I have to get rid of the stuff. This was $38. This is not cheap. But it did its job. Most of it is gone. So I think I got my money's worth and if I want to get another one, I'll get another one. But I have something else coming up. So you'll be seeing something else on my channel and we'll see how that works. But yes, this has to go. I nearly forgot. <laughs> this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer has to go too. There's like a very tiny amount left. So I definitely got my money's worth. Can't remember how much I paid for it because it was like a travel size. Not my favorite primer, but... You know, it did its job. It's about as old as a spray, so at least three years old. So this has to go. All right guys, so that's all the products I'm getting rid of. After counting, I'm getting rid of approximately 60 products, and I'm only keeping 12 products. So in total, I had 72 products, and 60 of them I was not using on the regular, as well as were expired. So. I hope this inspires you to go into your makeup collection, get rid of things that are expired or that you're not using on the regular, and try to minimize how much we're buying and how much we are wasting. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions about anything I talked about or expiration dates, feel free to leave them in the comment section. As usual, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social medias because I want to be friends and I'll see you next time. Bye.